Hey guys, my name is Ismas and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today Blender 3.5 has officially been released and now it replaces 3.4 on the homepage of Blender.org. Uh, you can see that uh, it's already to download and this version has mostly been about hair and hair grooming but uh, there's also viewport compositing, VDMs. This has been a bit sidelined in the what's new hair. As you can see that uh, the hair, the new hair system takes up almost half of the release page notes uh, you can scroll down uh, to almost half of the page until you see vdms which are not something small but uh, you can see they have been sidelined a lot so if you are a big hair fan and uh, you do a lot of hair for characters uh, this update is really really going to be exciting for you though the new hair system has been forwarded as the main feature of this release it's not the only major feature we have vdms and we have viewport compositing which i think is even more exciting for me personally than uh, the hair system and uh, VDMs or since I don't do a lot of sculpting or I uh, do a lot of hair th things but uh, yeah let's go through the release notes and uh, look at some of the new features and uh, they have also released a new splash screen uh, which is downloadable uh, right now uh, you just have to scroll down again to download it uh, but uh, yeah let's go through this like I said this version is about hair hair there everywhere the curved base system first introduced in 3.4 takes a major leaps in this release and uh, they have released this seven minute long tutorial about uh, the new hair assets if you download the release at uh, 3.5 and go to the asset asset browser you see that uh, blender now comes shipped with some hair assets and uh, you can apply them to any of any hair object a quick way to do this is just, just hit f3 on your keyboard and search for far and i should be able to add quick far and that, that will add hair for you uh, this adds uh, behind the scene adds a bunch of geometry nodes settings on geometry nodes nodes uh, that uh, you can also access through the modifier stack so as you know the hair system has been reworked to work to work mess mostly with the uh, with geometry nodes and the modifier stack and yeah so you get a bunch of nodes here and uh, if I can maximize this space a bit maybe even uh, minimize some of these nodes here you can see that uh, I can drag a new node system here uh, I can drag any of these hair assets uh, this come shipped with blender and uh, they're always adding a few they are trying to do away with the old hair system but uh, this is not fully ready because it doesn't support hair simulations like uh, the old system they have this seven minute tutorial in the notes and also on the blender the main blender official page and also another longer version uh, that is about 34 um, minutes on their uh, on the blender studio page so if you want a full dive in tutorial on how this works you can jump into those two tutorials and uh, the great thing about this is that each demo they have on the page uh, they also release a demo file that you can open up and explore and i uh, just click on it and uh, it will get you the blend file for it so we can open up a few of these here and you can see how these uh, look you can also just copy some of the materials they're using here because uh, materials hair materials can be tricky to to work with so this demo file can be very very useful one other thing you will note is that uh, the we also now have a hair shader for eevee uh, previously it only worked with cycles so yeah this is also amazing and if i switch to cycles really quickly here yeah you can see the, there isn't a lot of difference uh except maybe for the lighting uh, which I, sh I guess i should turn on here uh, to make sure that uh, we don't see we, you, you don't really see much difference here uh in the and the results remember the hair system is not limited to just the hair shader is not only limited to 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 rendering hair you can also use it to render grass um and uh, that's i think is amazing yeah, let's explore this a little bit further you have this hair shader you can uh, darken uh, the roots change uh, the colors and i like that uh, they, in their demo they, they are using different shaders for the hairs so you have a good example of how are uh, the different hairstyles work let's try dragging maybe this you can see some of the hair samples we have here maybe change the shape a bit so i like that uh, you can just drag and drop any of these hairstyles and things change as you want so i can even come back here and uh, just adjust some of the settings we have here so I'm just adjusting the viewport view. Let me just isolate uh, this model here. 
can increase the subdivision curl start let's do 0.5 and this is a quick demo of how a 3.5 handles hair grooming uh, just look at this for the for the first time ever blender ships with built-in assets the essentials assets library comes with 26 hair assets split into two categories deformation generation guides utility read and write yeah so yeah so that's exactly what i was showing showing off here uh these are some of the categories and uh, if you expand here you can see that uh, we have the formation uh generation guides and uh, everything like i said if you want to quickly add here just ha you just need a mesh and uh, you can either go through the process of using shift a and curve far to add far and then just drag any guides or deformation so for example if i want to deform this you can either drag directly into the viewport or into the geometry nodes modifiers here so i can just jump in drag that in here and you can see we have some nice hair guides the red category contains a few nodes that are you can use inside geometry nodes and to access some information about the hair curves you have added in here so you have the curve info you have the roots you have the segments you have the hair tip so if you want to really customize your hair you can use that and then utility these are also draggable assets that can be dragged into your geometry nodes viewport uh, so that you can you can edit your hair further uh, you have right this is also draggable into the viewport so you have two systems things that you can drag into the 3d viewport and things that are you can add into uh, and data that you can use in the in the nodes editor if you scroll down you'll see that uh, there's also a, a far and grass demo that you can download and uh, if we explore that a bit you can see uh, you get this far demo uh, that uh, you can edit a bit uh, can adjust the radius of the far yeah, and uh, you can see this also comes in with a lot of other different types of far here you have zebra and uh, i think we can just go to the material shader here now you can see how this looks and you can see this is that this is being rendered in ev uh, and uh, we can also render this out in cycles and there isn't much difference uh, that i'm seeing and like I said, this update has been mostly about hair, but uh, it doesn't mean that uh, hair is the only major update for this. Uh, if you scroll down, you'll see that uh, we have uh, some updates about vector displacement maps. We have talked about this a lot and our other creators have also done that. And uh, you also get a demo file uh, to play with when it comes to this. And uh, this demo file also comes with some VDM brushes uh, that you can play with and uh, reuse in other projects uh, you can see if i extract this you see you get some vdm brushes or textures and uh, these are just exr files scalp brushes so i can just go in here and just open that project and uh, the this file also includes a uh, vdm map manual baking demo that uh, you can use to bake your own uh, vdm materials moving away from vdms we have a new viewport compositor what you comp is what you get a new gpu based compositor but takes uh, the 3d viewport to a next level you will never see the viewport are uh, the same yeah so it has a ton of new features but uh, to demo this i'm just going to scroll down uh, to the news plus screen uh, just so we can take a look at that uh, so this is the news plus screen and you can download it here it's very light it's about 7 mbs but uh, if you click download and uh, it doesn't download da right away it's because that uh, right now a lot of people are trying to download uh, blender and other things so the servers are really backed up but uh, you can use the mirrors uh, the different mirrors that are being provided here uh, those might not be easy so you will be able to download it faster so i'm just going to open the splash screen here and I'll take a look at that so we can explore it as we explore the viewport uh, compositor and the new features that have been added yeah, so this is the project file and uh, you can see how it looks if we go to uh, cycles i think it, they're using cycles for this we have as uh, the new splash screen and uh, let me just expand this here switch this to cycles and uh, switch this to the compositor yeah you can see that uh, this project file already uses uh, the compositor and uh, has a few uh, nodes set up uh, you have to just enable it uh, in the either in the viewport or in the camera so right now it's in the this is enabled in the viewport but i want this to be enabled always so i'll turn that on here and uh, we can do something like we can use yeah i, I like uh, to use this lens distortion i think it really shows off how this works and uh, you can add chromatic 
chromatic aberration. Uh, th- yeah, it's under the same thing, Dis- dispersion, uh, less dispersion. You can see that uh, this a very this is a very very interesting what you comp is what you get uh, so i can do a lot of other things yeah there are a lot of nodes that have not yet been supported by the viewport but uh, as the release notes say a viewport experience never seen before overlays are drawn on top of the compositing results allowing you to see and interact with your mesh and objects and other objects modeling while compositing is on sure thing this is considered the first milestone of a large project view layer passes and some notes are not yet supported further work is planned for the future so you can also look at a list of supported features uh, if you go to that button and uh, just look at all of these uh, milestones yeah blender is also trying to become industry ready blender 3.5 is fully aligned with the vfx reference platform 2023 so the vfx reference platform is a set of tool and library versions to be used as a common target platform for building software for the vfx industry its purpose is to minimize incompatibilities between different software packages basically uh, they're just trying to make sure that uh, it's easy to move things you have created in blender into other applications like cinema 4d or unreal or any other software like 3ds max but uh, yes here are there are also more more features like uh copying uvs from one mesh to another improved constraints better handling of pose in spheres support for fans and pin uvs several fixes uh, is the list just goes on and on uh, again if you want to read more about this all links are going to be in the description but yeah this is a really really exciting update